We went after a defendant with some serious charges where I got information from an informant that he worked at a halfway house. Worst thing we could ever face. We don't know how many people are gonna be in the property. We've never been to the property. This was a scary case. All right, this case we're going after, this guy's name is Kevin Stewart. He's, uh, we got good info, uh, going back over everything. He was supposed to be working at this building where he hangs out, where they have convicts at after they get out of jail. Not sure what to expect when we get in here, but uh, it could be if, they, if this is where convicts hang out, we could get into anything. Uh, 10-4, uh, uh, what does he look like? Black male, I guess he's about 20 years old. Uh, I, I would say about six feet tall, slim, slender build. Uh, I'll show everybody the warrant again once we get to the location, but uh, we'll know him when we see him, I'll point him out. 10-4. Any time, sir. We're about a mile away, guys. Do you have any more backup? Uh, Donnie and Mike and Don is already posted up over the location. Yeah, yeah we're taking everybody on this one because, again, we're not sure exactly when that is a release program for convicts. We're not sure what to expect. Do we have a CI in the, in the building? 10-4. The guy that runs the program should be there waiting on us. You ain't worried about him tipping him off? That's a negative piece of the one that gave us information. 10-4. He's up here on the left. Donnie them here right now. We rolled up with a full team, not knowing what to expect. Let's go, guys. Right, hey, I think he's seen you. So, the dude, Kevin? Hey, uh, I think he went around the corner. There's a lot of places you can hide in here, so be awful careful. It's like a maze. Which way did he go? He went down. <coughs> Which way? Yeah. Did you go that way? The informant said that he saw us, and he's somewhere in the building. Did you get out over there? Black, you and Mike go that way. Try to get around that way, make sure he can't get out. Robert, y'all come in. Check that door. Go up that way. I'm pretty sure that comes down to me, son. Let's go up that way. We'll, we'll search this way. Denise, you got a left? I got right. We realized this building was overwhelming. It was not only a big building, but it had so many different hidden spots ways to get in. We split the team up into three. One of the worst thing we could do. You have to send two men off by themselves, another crew up another way, and then we had to go. But this is what we do. If you're in here, come out. We got a warrant for you. Come out. Recovery agent, you got to come out. Come on, Kevin. Kevin, come on out. Use the agent. Right here. 
right here, right here. which direction to go. There's so many doors. The search was crazy. So many doors and old salons, uh, old, old, uh, like uh, bunk beds everywhere. Just really dirty, old, creepy, creepy, creepy. Look, we got two stairways here. Two, two. Baby, let's take that. That was like going into um, Freddy Krueger. I mean, I, I really felt that when that, those steam pipes and all that old well water system over there, and then you can just smell it and you just see it, and it's like. Oh, I'm supposed to go there? <laughs> Big bad bounty hunter. <laughs> but it, it's, it's eerie, and it was uh, uh, scary to, to a point to where, you know, you don't know. You gotta see this. All right. Ready? Okay. Then you go that way. I'll go this way. As we search in the corridor, we see a boiler room. Dark. Scary. Something from the movie. This was a dangerous case. It was eerie. We were by ourselves. No help but that's how bounty hunters are. You gotta keep moving. After the break, the bounty hunters descend deeper into the building, searching for their men, and they, they fight. Go! They go! They go! Sentence is somebody 